What's up, YouTube? What you know, I'm Neighbor. Welcome back to another episode of Neighbor Plays Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue. <laughs> Neighbor Plays. Uh, as, as you know, I am a graphic artist and I'm really good at uh, controlling screen real estate. That's one of my favorite things about graph art, graphic design, um, which is why you'll see me on one half of the screen in my own LP series featuring me alone. Um, I just like to fill the screen with other things that I think might be interesting to watch on the side, you know? Um, it happens. So here I am. Oh god. Panic. Uh... So here I am, starting the episode, right back here, floor 80. What you know, guys? It's Neighbor here. Gra uh, panic. <laughs> Game is hard. No! <laughs> nope, that's not happening. Okay, take five. Actually, take three. Take five is a great candy. Hey, people at home, have you ever tried the Take 5 candy bar? Me too, it's really good. I really like it. It's one of my faves, probably top five candies. Probably top five candies. So for those who haven't had Take 5, oh, it's like chocolate. And there's pretzels. And I can't remember if I had to go this way. I think I did. But anyway, there's chocolate. And then there's like pretzels in there. And then there's like caramel and peanut butter. Very good. No 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 you will Hey does anyone else uh think this game is hard? I kinda get in that vibe. That was the luckiest experience. I'm getting dizzy from hunger. I don't know if it's even possible for me to continue this because I have eight left in my belly. On floor 84. Orbs are here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and reload. Different way. I'm on floor 85. Update. Are we recording? <laughs> uh, got four, four in my belly. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> Man. Can't even hit the OK button. to the game. Swipe over. 
Alright. <clears throat> Experiencing some technical difficulties. Yeah, I got you. Oh, no. You don't see anything. Thank you. Lovely. Okay. And we're back. Never experienced that before in my life. Don't kill me. There That's, we are. They pretty much killed you. I don't know, I'm fine. Yeah, you definitely want to save here. So hey, I, I just thought of this question a minute ago, uh, before I thought, I didn't know we were starting just yet, but uh, oh, you need that, you need that one. Um, what is your favorite candy bar? I don't know if anyone feels like that's a bad question. Why is that? Like, are there any healing items? Uh, let's see, defense scarf, yeah, uh, no, uh, iron thorn, uh, probably would hurt eating gravel rock, no, uh, oh, max, if I ever run out of PP, that's, oh wait, they're all sticky, uh, ice beam, okay, that's a good, uh, sticky, okay, so, um, so, yeah, no, I got nothing. There's no way you can possibly get there. Not with that attitude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That didn't work. No, oh, but like, how are you gonna... Uh, I'm hoping that I can find an item. I don't think there's any that will help me, though. That worked out a little bit. But you need to be at full health. So you can... I mean, you literally, from that point, you only have 50 steps left. Or you're dead. There's... oh, yeah. <clears throat> Alright. So what we might do is we might add this on as a tag to the last episode. Yeah. I think we're just gonna double on mine. We'll go yeah. through this. And then... I'll catch up eventually. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're going to need to do. All right. All right. What's up? I'm just kidding. I'm, we're already in here. Let's go. Proceed. For 99. Not sponsored by any water companies. Ooh, do you want this one? Why? Why have you come here? This is the Silver Trench. This is my territory. Whoa, he's naked. My name is Lugia. I am the guardian of the seas. My favorite kind of suit is a birthday suit. To protect this sea, I have settled here. If you dare to challenge me, so be it. I will rise to your challenge. Cast aside all thoughts. Unleash every bit of your power. With your life at stake. Bring it on! Should I be scared? A little bit. He said, with your life at stake. Agility suit. I'm scared. Ooh, do you need to be next to him so you BOOM! Oh wait, wait, wait. No, never mind. Yeah, that he's he's so rare to to recruit. Man. That's crazy. Alright. <clears throat> A new member joined the team. Lugia will be named. 
Um, I'm a big fan of, of, of Green Mario. Make him Air Bud? Oh, Air Blight. <laughs> Is that Air Bud? I'm so confused. All right, Air Blight joined. I gained Deep Sea Current. Yeah, you would have loved to hear the little celebration sound. All right, I'm going to go talk to Lugia real quick, and then we will wrap up this episode the next morning. <clears throat> it's not too long time. You sure to visit us? After everything we went through, Tatsu, you must be intrigued by our achievements. Ha 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 ha. Wrong! Shopping in Pokemon Square is... What I came to do. I come here only because it is on the way. This is not very important. Oh, is that all? Possibly. I have no idea. Uh... Oh, hi, Zato! Nope, totally <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Wait. That was you. Blastoise! Oh, hey, there you are. Didn't know you'd be here. You had me looking, Zatu. What is it? Well, to the northeast of Mount Thunder, there's a giant cave. Gigantic cave. There, there wasn't anything like that before, eh? So I, so I figured Zatu would know something. Gua! I shall call it the Meteor Cave. Even though he's never seen it before. Came up with that one right off the dome. Meteor Cave. It was when Rayquaza destroyed the falling star. Its pieces broken. They scattered across the skies. One tumbled to earth. It fell into a mountain and made the cavern you speak of. Um, Blastoise, did you explore inside Meteor Cave? Uh, yeah, just a little. But the place was crawling with these weird things. It freaked me out. I couldn't stay there long. Ha <laughs> ha! Surprise, surprise, Blastoise kind of cowardly. What's that? Ah, uh, their voices are so this close. Is so similar. Blastoise! Hey, you, TJ! If you were to see that dungeon, you'd be intimidated too. I've never seen anything like it before. There were downright bizarre things in it, and I'm not sure we're even Pokemon. Zatsu, do you have any idea what are in that place? No. Uh, no, no, not really, man. I've never been there. But, uh... The cavern... Collision that caused it had to be pretty, pretty huge, right? I mean, if there was anything that survived that situation. It could be aliens. I'm just <laughs> saying. You mean aliens? They came from the falling star. Maybe. That was my line. Maybe. Per perhaps. I don't know. Want to go investigate? The I think cave. they're aliens. I got Blastoise like when when we said that he turned and looked at us. And on that glorious note of success, we wrap up today's episode. Now this will be a tag onto. Uh, I don't know. We'll fi we'll figure it out. Uh, it'll go somewhere in the episode sometime that goes up on the channel Domino. Um, I don't really know what else to say. So I do hope you enjoyed our, our time through Silver Trench. In the next episode, we will be on to the next part of the story. So be ready for that. We're finishing up very soon. Hold on. Let me, I'm going to take a second before we end this episode. We have three chapters left. That's actually a lot. Holy crap. <laughs> We've still got a while to go. So I do hope you're enjoying. Um, we will see you in the next episode. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.